My name is Malcolm and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here at the Pig Lab. Welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. In this video, I'll be going through a past year examination question on the topic of materials. I've also prepared this question for you to download for free by clicking a link in the description box below. So let's get started. Question 9. Kelly tested three types of strings, R, S, and T, by hanging loads from each string. Now he said he increased the mass of the load until the strings broke, and then the result shown below is the maximum mass that the string can hold before it starts to break. So Kelly tried a few arrangements of hanging different loads, and they want us to find out which of the following arrangements below would be possible. Now if you look at option 1, we have string S on top, and if you look at the table, what's the maximum mass that string S can support? String S can support a maximum mass of 3 kg before breaking. So I know what some of you are thinking. If you look at S, it can support a maximum of 3 kg. And if you look at the mass below S, you can see it is 2 kg. So you guys think, oh, that means S will not break. That means option 1 is possible. But if you look at S carefully, would it only support the 2 kg mass? No, in fact, string S is at the top. That means it will have to support not just the 2 kg mass, but all the loads that are below it. So if you look at S, can we go and count? What's the total mass it needs to support? We have 2 kg and we add 3 kg below. What's the total mass? 5 kg. Now, since S can only support a maximum mass of 3 kg without breaking, that means if S holds 5 kg, what will happen to S? String S would break, which means is option 1 possible? No, so I'm going to cross this out. Next, let's take a look at 2. Now, for option 2, this time we have string R. And if you look at R in the table, what's the maximum mass it can support? R can support a maximum mass of 2 kg. And if you look at R, what is the total mass it has to support? Does it only have to support the 3 kg mass? No, R has to support both the 3 and the 2 kg mass. So let's add them up together. R has to support 3 plus 2 and we get 5 kg. And since R can only support 2 kg before breaking, is option 2 possible? No, string R will break. So 2 is out. Next, let's take a look at option 3. Now for option 3, we also have string S at the top. But what is the loads that string S has to support? String S has to support all the loads below it. So let's go and add them up together. String S has to support 1 plus 4 kg. And what do we get? 5 kg as well. And can string S support a load of 5 kg? No, so 3 is out. And lastly, what about option 4? This time we are looking at T. So similar to the other options, let's go and calculate what's the mass that T has to support here. We know that T has to support a mass of 4 kg plus how much? 1 kg and we get 5 kg. Now let's check back to the table. Can string T support a maximum mass of 5 kg before breaking? Definitely. So, this one is possible, but now we also need to take a look at string S. If you look at string S below it, what is the load it needs to support? String S, does it need to support the loads on top? Don't need. It only needs to support the loads below it. And what is the load below it? 1 kg. Now, let's check back to the table. Can string S support a load of 1 kg? Yes. In fact, it can support a maximum of 3 kg before breaking. That means, would string S in option 4 break? No. So, option 4 is possible. Therefore, the correct answer must be option 4. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to check out more videos by us, do click on the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!